Hi, and welcome back to another episode. We are just about to go on our journey, and in fact, I... What the heck, it just stopped raining. So I put a torch down here because I didn't want to lose my spot in case I accidentally had to go somewhere else, but I didn't. In fact, I just recorded the other episode like 30 minutes ago. And it is early morning. It is getting to be afternoon, but not quite. It's late morning. And I'm just going to go that away because it looks like a natural way to go. I think I'm going to get my axe because I need wood. One second, one second, one second. Alright. Let's kill... You know what? 22 beef? That's plenty. I like these large oak trees. Cow... Yow... It's a nice little valley here. Mm -hmm. Is that a cave right here? Oh no, it's a it's a water pool. All right, so basically, I have absolutely no plans whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna see where my travels take me, much like Bilbo. <laughs> Much like Bilbo, he just went out his doorstep and he went on a journey. He didn't know where it was going to take him. Let's see what's over here. He's got a nice viewpoint. Nice and rolling plains. It's very nice. Very nice. Let's go on over here. Whoa, dang it. Beef. Careful now, if I run too much, it will be, uh, I'll be getting hungry. Creeper blew up here at some point in the past. Well, he didn't blow up in the present or in the future, so it must have been in the past. Obviously. So, yeah, one thing I like to do is I like to, uh... Well, I like to make funny jokes, but they're usually not that funny. So I'll let y'all be the judge of that. I'm just gonna act like myself. And uh, if anything I say is funny, just like, just send me a comment, let me know that it was funny. And that'll be great. Mm-hmm, that'll be great. Was that a dirt pillar? I saw a dirt pillar. I'm the dirt pillar police. Because it's ugly. Let's see, is it really a dirt pillar? As you can see, there's a lot of open land in this place. The server's been open since about February. And we had a few people join then, and then we had a quiet period. And then we just started advertising last week, and I had a few more people join. So. Get some coal, maybe? Yeah, I have lots of coal, don't I? Oh, it's all inside my chest. Oh my god, I'm hungry again? Get some iron real quick, maybe. That's a dead end. So yeah, I started playing in beta 1.2. 
in February of 2011. And it's funny, my very first night in Minecraft, I died, but not for the reason that uh, most people think. I died because the phone rang and I stepped away from the computer and I pushed um, R to go to my inventory. And while in my inventory screen, I thought that the game was paused, but it was not. And um, I got off the phone and went back to the computer and my screen was red. It said I had died and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. And this is early on, it wasn't even dark, it was like afternoon in the game. I had just plopped down a crafting table and uh, immediately died. Oh, well, no, I'm sorry. I sat there all the first day while I was on the phone, and then throughout the night, something came and blew me up because the game was not paused. So that was my very first night in Minecraft. I did not survive my first night at all. Ooh. Feather. Yeah, that just reminded me. There's a reason to kill chickens. Other than their meat. I need feathers to make arrows so I can fight. Fight stuff with arrows. Yeah, that's it. And play a little bit of uh, single player. All the way from February 20th through March and April. And then toward the end of April, I finally started playing some multiplayer. And I just happened to be on a, um, a post on minecraftforum.net about something. I would love to know what the post was, but somebody had a reply and in the email the signature of their post you are carrying a piece of wood dude I think I'm gonna take a screenshot of that one <laughs> and um, what was I saying oh the guy uh, his post signature had a link to a server, and it was an interesting banner. I have been on Microform a, a lot and seen a lot of different servers and didn't join any of them. And I just saw this one, and I said, "You know what? That looks interesting. I'm gonna try it out." And I started playing on it in the last part of April, mid to late April, 2011. And you know, it was it was all right, and then. I played some more single player for a couple of weeks and then I uh, got a wild idea to build um, the Mines of Moria from Lord of the Rings in Minecraft. So I said, you know what, I'm not going to do this in single player. I'm going to do it in multiplayer. So I got back on that server and it was a lot, something about it, it just was, it clicked. It was really cool and I, I plopped down some donation money to get a, a protected land area so I could build on and do my Mines of Moria project. And then I got on with a clan and I moved into the city. So I had a house in the city and then I had a house out in the countryside in the very first week of May 2011. And I, those guys, I've been with them ever since and they're, they're here. The owner of that server now is my admin. And uh, and the other guys, the own the mayor of that city that I moved into, he's now my one of my admins. We've basically been playing together ever since then. So two and a half, well no, two years plus a month or so. And then another guy who was a moderator also, who lived down the street from me in the town, is another admin here. So. We are all together on the Nomadic Realms. And this is a server. I got this. I was playing a single player game. And I uh, 
I was doing a, uh... Something's dying over here. I was playing a, uh, a single player game where I didn't let myself build a chest at all. Ooh, there's light over there. There's torches. What the heck? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god. I just went in a circle. Dude, I did not mean to do that. Shoot. Well. That is hilarious. That was definitely not scripted or anything. But I'm going to take some protection from the creepers. Oh my gosh. Can't believe I'm here again. That was a really long journey, wasn't it? I was thinking about mining just then. Or going to go mining, but that was. Dude, I hear spiders. You know what? Why am I being such a bussy, man? I need to go out there and. Show them what's up. Probably gonna die. So basically, I wasn't talking right there because I was afraid of uh, making the wrong move. But that was pretty darn tricky right there. Alright, I need to walk away from that. Maybe I should just go in a straight line, huh? Or I can make a boat. I'm gonna have to figure out in the video how in the heck I managed to make a circle. Because I literally went in a circle back there. And now we're just going in a completely different direction. That guy, I knew he was gonna freaking get me. They are so much more difficult. I mean, their, their rate of fire is much increased. These darn skeletons. Dude, is this desert? Just running. I'm gonna go. Man, the, the the tundra, taiga biome is the worst to run in at night. Over there, because it's so dense with trees. Maybe I'll just camp here for the. the for the night. Oh, goodness gracious. That's what I get for running around at night, huh? Well, this tree does not need to be here. Never have enough wood. Dude, what the heck? It's right in the face. Looks like I'm smoking a big old cigarette. Hold on. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. That's funny. In the face. So, yeah, 
Sorry about that, guys. I uh, totally am not very good at going on exploration adventures, obviously. Not able to keep track of where I'm going. Well, the issue is I was running around at night, and then I immediately saw light, and I ran toward it. And that probably wasn't the smartest thing to do because I was not very far from my house still, or yet. So therefore, the lights I was seeing were my own lights. So silly. Oh, you know what, I can make that arrow now. Let me go ahead and use up that flint. Uh, and... Oh, you know what I could do? I could sh show y'all what happens when you try to make a chest. If you make a chest, you can make a chest. But when you try to place it down, you're not allowed to place chest. And then it's gone. It's except sometimes it's gone and sometimes it isn't gone. There, see now it came back. You're not allowed to place chest. Item number fifty four. And it'll come back here in a second. But so therefore don't try to place a chest on the ground as a block. You'll not be able to. That is to prevent you from uh, collecting a bunch of unnecessary items, which would tie you down to one location. Much like the comedian George Carlin said that uh, people, houses are just places to put stuff. People, uh, when they run out of space in their house, they gotta, and they have need more stuff, they have to buy a bigger house to hold all their stuff. And then, uh, Basically, I'm telling the joke in a very bad way. Basically, look at George Carlin and his joke about houses and places to put stuff. And that's what I want to try to prevent in this game. I want you to, I want the player to feel free to be able to go and leave their house at any time and never come back. And if it's stockpiled with materials then it's not likely to happen. But it can be done. I mean, there's, of course, you know, there's ways around things here. So, it's fixing me morning time again. Just collecting all my torches. I thought I saw another sapling. All right. Let's go. Hope I don't die. Stupid chest glitched and came back. All right. Let's go. There's a lot of cows on this server. So if you're complaining, if you log in and complain about not enough food, then Dude, that guy's got enchanted armor. None of it dropped. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Cow, it's snowing. You should go indoors. Dude, are you kidding me? Get away from me, dude. Dude, there's an ocean here. Trees. Do -do 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 -do. I'm just running through the forest. Run, run, run. Zombie. Oh. 
I kill you. Chicken. Oh yeah, that was the first episode, huh? Chicken. What the heck happened here? Obviously there was reeds. And then the um the reeds were growing here and then the ice formed. The the train generator must have added the ice blocks immediately after adding the sugar cane blocks. Creeper blew up here. Somebody didn't collect their things. Could use some dirt. Feels like it's about to stop raining. Yeah, it did. It did stop raining. It did. Man, it's nice over here. Alright, did I just go in a circle again? No, I think I'm not going in a circle. Man, there's a lot of piggies. Die, piggy. Piggy. I might need to check the mob spawn rate. It might be a little too high, because this is an excessive amount of mobs. Mm, what the heck? Whoa, is it trying to figure out where to put the mobs? Am I going into new terrain? Maybe I'm rendering some new chunks. Piggy, 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 pumpkin. Um, hmm. I do like pumpkins. Not exactly sure why. I don't really use them for anything. I guess I'll eat all this rotten flesh. XP. We are just driving around like crazy people in the wilderness. I want to see where I can manage to find myself. I want to like find a nice ravine. Are you kidding me? This is a ravine. I saw some iron. Let's get this iron. Oh, cool. One block. Alright. What is that? Nothing. Nothing in particular. <gasps> Are you kidding me? There's a freaking ravine. Found my ravine. That's that's cool. <laughs> All right, let's backtrack because that's what I like to do. I might have to go explore this ravine and we will do that in the next episode of the Nomadic Realms Let's Play. This is Jason Rubik signing off and we will go down in there in the next episode. Goodbye.